So now pronouns. As you see that it is related with nouns. Pro plus nouns is pronoun. So pronoun is a word that takes the place of a common noun or a proper noun. So a pronoun is used in place of noun. May it be common or proper. So there are different kinds of pronouns. First is your personal pronouns. The words like I, you, he, she, it, we and they, they are called personal pronouns. They take the place of nouns and are used as the subject of the verb in a sentence. You will shortly know what is verb. Like my name is David. This is a proper noun. I am the youngest in the family. I, this is a pronoun. This is my father. My father, father is a noun, which is a common noun. He is a teacher. He is a pronoun. This is my mother. She is a pronoun. I have brother and two sister. I means I am referring to myself. So this is a pronoun for me. They are Peter, Sharon and Jenny. They means they are, they, this word is for these three people. So they, they is a pronoun. I have a dog. It is called lucky. It and I both are pronoun. Lucky, you are a good dog. You, you are, you in this sentence is a pronoun. Good morning children. You may sit down. So, for all these children, you is being used. So, you is a pronoun. My family and I, because family, I, you, he, it, they are uh, pronouns. My is not a pronoun because my family and I means my family and I. I is a pronoun, live in a big city and we have an apartment. We all have, I and my family have an apartment. So, we, we is a pronoun. So, the subject of a sentence is what? As I said, they take the place of noun and are used as the subject of the verb in a sentence. So, what is a subject? A subject of a sentence is the person, animal, place or thing that does the action shown by the verb. Subject of a sentence is name, place, animal, thing. Then comes the me, you, him, her, it, us, them. They are also personal pronouns. They are also personal pronouns and they also take the place of nouns. And these pronouns are used as the subject of the verb in a sentence. Again, like I am standing on my head. Look at me. Look at me. So me. My mother is kind. Everybody likes her. Her is a pronoun. These are personal pronouns. So we have personal pronouns here. Lisa, I told you to tidy your bed. You. You means a pronoun. Sharon Jenny. Dad is waiting for both of you. Sharon and Jenny. So you is actually a pronoun. Lucky and I are playing in the bar. So I is a pronoun and this is also a pronoun. Dad is uh, watching us, us. We must not play with the knife. The knife is what? This is a noun. So the knife, give it to me, means give knife to me. So it is just by replacing, you can make a sentence. Give this knife to me. So that is, give it to me, give the knife. It is a pronoun for this knife. Pick up your toys and put them away. Your toys, toy, your toys, toys for this toys, them is used. So them is the subject for toys. So that's it. That is why them is a pronoun. Like baby birds cannot fly, mother bird needs to feed them. Feed them. T H E M. This this is a pronoun for baby birds. Tom likes riding my bicycle. I sometimes lend it to him. What? It means bicycle. Him means Tom. So Tom and bicycle they both are noun. For my bicycle it is used it, and Tom replaces him. So it and him both are personal pronouns. What is again the object? The object of a sentence is the person, name, place, animal, thing that received the action shown by the verb. So, there are three group of nouns. First person, second person and third person. This is very important. The person speaking is called the first person. The person who is speaking. The first person pronoun are I and me. I am speaking. Me. Look at, look at me. So, this is in singular. And when we talk about me and others like we, us, these are in plural. So, these are personal speaking. Person speaking. And then person spoken to about which we are talking is second person. That means the second person pronoun is you. I am talking about you. Look at you. These are both singular and plural. Means you can use you for singular, you for one person and for many you can also use you. Then the person like animal thing which is about whom spoken about is called the third person. The third person are for animal and thing. Please understand. Like uh, the third person pronouns are he or him. So animal means human is all, always there. He and him, she or her, it in singular, they and them in plural. So for um, a knife we used it, number of knives or number of uh, objects, things, we call them they or them also, you know, including the humans. The word I is always spelled with a capital letter that we have already seen. And the pronoun he is used for men and boys. 
while she is used for women and girls and it is used for things and animals so if you are talking about a male you use he female you use she for things and animal may it be and animals can also be masculine and feminine for that you can use it so let us get this table first person singular for i that will be me you both say third person singular he then for object it will be him she for her and it for it first person singular we that us you 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 are you know common this you will use only you in both the cases and then they and then them they is subject for third person plural and object is them then we have a reflexive pronouns the word myself yourself himself herself itself ourselves see the, this vs yourselves themselves they are called reflexive pronouns why because they refer to the person or animal that is the subject of the verb subject of the verb that means i make this cake myself i referring to itself means reflexive reflexive means reflection it has come from the reflection word so be careful with the knife you will cut yourself means yourself means you you and yourself they both are same so they are reflection of each other so you and yourself michael is looking at himself in the mirror again see mirror is used for reflection so him uh, himself and michael they are both same susan has her hurt herself a cat washes itself after each meal we organize the party all by ourselves we all did it so ourselves come in children and find yourselves children is a plural so find yourselves a seat baby birds are too young to look after themselves then here is a time to remind you about these uh, reflexive pronouns first person i me myself plural we us ourselves second person you yourself then you yourselves we us it will uh, plural we use this we us third person he him himself they them themselves again we us she her herself they them themselves for themselves again we us it itself they them themselves then we have interrogative pronouns what are these interrogative pronouns the words like who who whose what which are called interrogative pronouns why because these pronouns are used to ask question like these are the examples who he is talking to who is he talking to who are those people about whom whom are you playing with whom is he talking to which which of these bag is yours which do you prefer whose whose is this umbrella whose are these gloves what what is your dog's name what are you talking about and what is the time so who can be used as the subject of a verb as well as the subject whom is used only as object right object for example you can say who are you playing with or whom are you playing with who are you playing with who are you playing with then we have another uh, category of pronouns that is demonstrative pronouns these pronouns these word like this these that those they are called demonstrative pronouns because they are showing words they show something like these are ships sheep those are goats so he is indicating he is showing he is you know stretching his arms and indicating them showing them like this is my house this is my, this is hill these are donkeys what is this did you drop this hi jane this is michael and then that that is john's house that is a mountain those are horses what are those we can do better than that no that's not mine you mean you one that's amazing hello who is that speaking please hello is that you george so you use this and these means this and these when you point to things near you which are quite near see these both are near and you use that and those which are farther away means that you know hill can be used but if a mountain is very far then we use this is a hill which is closer then that is a mountain which is farther away demonstrative pronouns can be singular as well as plural means this you, you use these this these that those singular this and that plural these and those so let us come to the exercise you have to draw a line to join each of the subject pronouns to the object pronouns that matches so that will be i i i means me he he means him he is a subject pronoun while him is an object pronoun that matches it will be it only she is her they is them you will remain as you and we will be us now fill in the blanks with the correct pronouns peter and i are brothers we share a bedroom together sue is in well dad is taking her to see a doctor my brother is a teacher he teaches english all his students like her or him 
uh, all his means him, yes, him, him very much because uh, this is a male masculine word. Children that are making too much noise. Children, you, you will be used for all of them. Who are those people? Where are they from? They from. Mom is a doctor. Dash works in a hospital. She works in a hospital. The sky is getting dark. The sky is getting dark. It is going to rain. And if we talk about sky, that will be it. John, we are all waiting for you. Are you coming with us? May Dash borrow your pen? May I borrow your pen? Yes, of course. When can you return Dash to me? Yes, of course. When can you return it to me? What are Dash reading, Jenny? What are you reading, Jenny? You. Exercise 3. Fill the blanks with the correct reflexive pronouns. Reflexive means reflection from the box. So, no one can help us. First is, no one can help us. We have to help ourselves. Ourselves. Jane always makes the bed by herself. Herself. They painted the wall all by themselves. I heard Dash in the playground yesterday. I heard myself. John, you must behave yourself before your friend. Yourselves. Yourself, not yourself. Children, you must do the homework yourselves. Tom defended Dash against the bullies. Tom defended himself against the bullies. The dog is scratching itself because it is an animal, so it will, will use itself. Then write the correct interrogative pronouns in the in the blanks. You have to fill the gaps. So first is dash is the matter with you. What is the matter with you? What? Then dash invented the computer. Who invented the computer? Dash of the twins is older. Which? Which? Dash. Do you prefer to speak to whom? Whom do you wish to speak to? Dash is this car in front of our house. Whose is this car? Dash knows the answer. Who knows the answer? Dash came first, the chicken or the egg. Can you, can you answer this? So that will be who? Who came first, the chicken or the egg? Dash, would you like to drink? What would you like to drink? The dash of them, do you think, will win the race? Which of them? And dash is the word for the stamp collector. What is the word? What? W and T. What is the word? Pronouns. Thank you so much. Take care.